prices and come out the strongest for it, has tasted the bitter sting of economic setback. But we Asians are fighters. Far from setback, we are poised for a comeback. And we are glad that the Japan-Philippines EPA will be there to help us in this Asian comeback. I thank you. Your Excellency President Aroyo, thank you very much for speech. the speech, which was most impressive and sublime. Once again, I would like to thank you very much for your speech with a round of applause with those in the audience. At the very end, Madam President mentioned that the mountain was moved by Japan during the past 50 years. Further, Madam President said that we are fighters, Asians including the Japanese. That was like being hit with a whip from the back, and I was very much encouraged. But at any rate, as we face this worldwide global crisis, we should work hand in hand and form a united front. And in that united front, there is a significant role to be played by Japan. I think that was the gist of Her Excellency's message. We have many intellectuals from the Japanese community as well as the representatives of various sectors and ambassadors to Japan from various countries who inviting various uh, leaders, but uh, President Ayo Aroyo marks the sixth leader uh, since the beginning of the year. And once again, I would like to thank Your Excellency President Aroyo for your presence. Let me now introduce to you the members of the delegation Secretary Ramuro was introduced at the beginning. After her visit to Japan, she will be moving on to Brazil. Fourteen cabinet members, as well as members of both houses, are accompanying Her Excellency. This is quite a sizable mission led by Her Excellency. Once again, let me introduce to you some of the members. To the right is the Honorable Alberto Ramiro, Secretary of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of the Philippines. His uncle served as Secretary of Foreign Affairs for several years, so he's a family of foreign affairs. And also, we have Senator Santiago. Uh, He's not here, uh, who is the chairperson, Committee on Foreign Relations and Committee on Economic Affairs, but Senator is not here. Former President of the University of the Philippines, uh, Senator Angara. Long time no see, Senator Ankara. 20 years ago, FEC invited you to Nagoya, and you were accompanied by your son. And your son, Honorable Marianito Roque, Secretary of Labor and Employment. Next. The Honorable Margarito Tevez, Secretary of Finance, are you here? 
Honorable Serge Raimonde, Press Secretary. The Honorable Ralph Rector, Secretary for National Economic Development Authority. The Honorable Rolando Andaya, Secretary of Budget and Management, not here. The Honorable Jesus Dureza, Presidential Advisor on the Presidential Advisor. Thank you. Alpares. The Honorable uh, Mr. Alvarez, Hi. Presidential Advisor. Uh, do we have uh, the Honorable Mr. Tetango, BSP, Tetango Governor of BSP? No. The Honorable Real Canovas, Hi. Chairman, National Hi. Telecommunications Hi. Commission. These are some of the cabinet members, but finally, let me introduce the jewel of the Philippines. <coughs> ambassador Domingo uh, Siazon, who is the ambassador of the Republic of the Philippines to Japan. His Excellency the Ambassador is here. His Excellency Ambassador Siazon is in his second term as the Ambassador to Japan, and he has also served as the Secretary of Foreign Affairs of the Philippines. And as you are well aware, he thinks in Japanese in the morning, but thinks in English in the afternoon. He's uh, flew with a full engine. He's visited our office many times. He came to us, uh, President Hanioka, please provide us with support on the occasion of the presidential visit. He's been doing that to many organizations inside Japan, and he has been fully contributory. Now, his term, currently, current term, has been for many years, and among the diplomatic corps in Japan, he's one of the veterans. He 